upgrades specifically to Ferrari that they hope will get them back towards the front of the grid. Let's take a look. So for those of you that didn't watch yesterday's video, Ferrari have been having filming days at their test track, uh, Fiorino. And yesterday they were testing out splash cuts. Um, I'll put some pictures on screen now for you to see. I did talk about this in yesterday's video, so go check that out if you want to hear a little bit more. They were testing two different types of splash guards for the FIA. Another prototype that the FIA is testing to try and reduce the spray from wet weather and uh, rain and what have you. However, you will notice that the spray from the diffuser is still very substantial and there isn't really anything you can do about that. But anyway, we're here to talk about upgrades. The second day, Ferrari have got a filming day today and already this morning, Charles Leclerc has been on track with the updated Ferrari. Some people are calling it the SF24 Evo. The first thing you're gonna notice, and this is the biggest change on the surface, the biggest visual change, if you like, is the side pods. Normally, or the default version of this Ferrari this season has had what you would call an underbite. And what that means is on the side pod inlet, the furthest point out is at the bottom. So basically, I'll put some pictures on screen now of their, of their version that we've seen so far this season. The bottom has a longer piece, if you like, than the top. That was what's been called an underbite. Red Bull have a very extreme overbite. It's the opposite. The top extends further than the underneath. And Red Bull, as we know, have a super, super aggressive side pod profile. Now, Ferrari have been running with, I don't want to call it a basic car, but they've had this default version of the SF24 and they knew they were bringing upgrades to Imola that were going to be substantial. In fact, they hope that it will be at least three tenths of a second. There's rumors floating around there that this is this is a substantial upgrade. You'll see from the pictures here that they've now gone to something very similar to Red Bull. They've got this really aggressive overbite. And it, I mean, it looks very nice. Obviously, we don't know exactly what performance that's going to give, but it looks it looks very aggressive and it's a big change and it looks far more refined actually than the version we've seen it's quite hard to tell but there is some improvements in and around the halo the fairings on the halo and the side pods so there are refinements basically across the board from what i understand although i haven't really got perfect comparisons of this there are some improvements to the front wing some improvements to the rear wing they're quite minor but the biggest change is to the side pods and an area which we can't see, the floor. As we know, this generation of car, the biggest way to generate downforce is via the Venturi tunnels, the floor. That is, that is essentially the, the biggest gain. And it's the part of the car that we can't see. Visually, we can see that the side pods have changed, but ultimately it's the way that the floor, the aerodynamics, the suspension all work together. So there's been some big, big changes to the Ferrari. Normally, we wouldn't get to see these before the cars shown around the pit lane in Imola. But as it happens, it's such a big upgrade. Ferrari wanted to put them through their paces with a filming day. Therefore, we've actually got to see them a week early. There is a possibility. Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. There is a possibility that we could see a three-way fight going forward. Is that, is that too optimistic? We've got McLaren coming off the back of a win with Lando Norris. Very competitive. You could say, well, Max had a little bit of damage and that affected his performance at the end of the race. Let's say that's true. Even still, Lando still had fantastic pace and was, I think, would have matched uh, Max there or thereabouts. Then we have the Ferrari, which is a little bit further back, but they believe that these upgrades can take them now closer towards where McLaren are. Could it be now for the next few races, especially at tracks like Monaco, Monaco, Imola, that we could actually see the potential of three teams duking it out for the win? That would be something, wouldn't it? That would be something. I hope so. Anyway, I'm going to keep you updated on all of these upgrade packages coming. Mercedes are bringing small upgrades. They bought half to Miami. 
half to Imola, but I don't think it's going to be anything substantial for them. Again, Red Bull are going to be bringing small upgrades as well. We'll have to just see exactly what they look like when they when they come to the car, and that we'll see them in the paddock probably Wednesday, Thursday next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for sticking with all of this content. I'll see you next time.